Well, I'm going to well blow people. It's episode one of my build series. I'm going to do one of these a month, mainly PVE. I will throw in a PVP one in there somewhere. Now, I'm going to be. We're going to build this, by the way. It's an inventory storage base, like the professional arc builders up in the top right. You're going to see the materials I used. You must be out of your fucking mind. Do you think I've got the time to be counting how many walls I'm placing? You're going to need a lot of fucking shit, so just make a lot, yeah? The first thing you need to decide is how many volts in the floor you're going to use. For this build, we're going to do eight. So we're going to place eight foundations. This works better on flat ground. Don't try to build this on a tree or something. Once you've done that, place two metal walls at the ends on top of each other. Then you're going to place wooden tables going from one side to the other on the foundations. This is where we're going to drop the volts on. Make sure that you're overlapping the tables because the hitbox is a bit crap on them. Alright, so overlap the tables and do it all the way from one end to the other like so. Then you're going to place tech ceilings on as a temporary uh, base to place your vaults. So do those tech ceilings from one end to the other. So now we're going to place the vaults. Now I always use the hotbar as a ruler and you just line it up with any straight line on a structure. All right, you can use the ladder trick if you want or just use your hotbar as a ruler. These these vaults that we're placing need to be in the middle of these uh, tech ceilings so it looks nice. So make sure you've lined it all up there on those points I just showed you. And then you want to place it three, three or no, say four circles away from the edge, like so. All right, and that's to get it as centered as you can. Now do that all the way along. Once you've done that all the way along, from one end to the other, uh, you level your vaults on top. Basically, make sure you got a gap of a, of about there on it. All right, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit off. I mean, it sh should work. Uh, and then you're going to destroy the metal walls at both ends, and that's going to drop the vaults onto the tables. Make sure that the vaults are obviously all level. Now you're going to replace the metal walls at both ends, and then place tech hatch frames. The hatch frames are going to allow you to access the vaults from the top. So this is like your floor basically. Now you have to be standing on the vault looking down to access it. And this is where you're going to put all your inventory and shit. If you try to access it from the side it says unlock. So make sure you're not doing that. Next you're going to place greenhouse ceilings all the way around the outside of those tech hatch frames. Once you've done that all the way around you're then going to place a metal wall at one of the ends underneath the greenhouse like so. This will allow you to offset another ceiling. So you can use a metal ceiling, place it like so and that offsets both of that greenhouse and that metal. So now you're going to place that metal going all the way around just like you did with the greenhouse but by doing this the greenhouse you make like a nice thin strip going around the vaults. So it looks like that. Next we're going to need some more support. Underneath at both ends place another four foundations like so and then three foundations either side like so so you make a T. Go and do that on the other side, so both sides you've created a T, then join them up uh, from one end all the way to the other with foundations. Now this is the only foundations we need for this, this base now, uh, you won't need to place any more after this. But when you have gone all the way around, next thing we're going to do is just a bit of filling in. So go to the ends and we're going to place eight metal ceilings just to fill it in, basically, basically like so. I know you may think the way I build is a bit strange going from one thing to another, but that's how we're rolling. There's nothing you could do about that. Go to the other side and do the exact same. Eight metal ceilings, as I do. Now we're going to do a little bit more um, filling in. From one end all the way to the other on both sides. Alright, like so. And do that on both sides. Alright. I know it's a little discombobulated, but just pause it if I'm going too fast. I know I'm going too fast. But this is what you're left with, basically. Next thing we're going to do is a main technique that I use to do a lot of the stuff that I do. So you're going to place a metal pillar so it pops through the metal ceiling. Make sure you've got the center of your build. All right. Then you're going to place another metal ceiling on the top of that metal pillar. Then you're going to lower another metal pillar so it pops through the top of the second ceiling. Then you're going to place another ceiling. Then you can do the same again. Metal pillar so it pops through. Then you're going to place a stone ceiling. This is going to be a floor. All right. Now this technique I've just done, I did it first time, this can be a pain to do because of the snap points. You can't use R1 to do this, to cycle. You need to move your camera and look at it from different angles to be able to snap those pillars going through each of the ceilings. What you'll find will just start breaking and destroying all the time. So next, from that first one that you placed, go around the whole of the outside edge with stone ceilings. Once you've gone all the way around the outside like so, 
we're going to go on the inside and we're going to place some stairs now make sure you've still got the center which is there place three sets of stairs uh, along here so make sure you've got the center of the build when you're doing this and place three tech stairs on one side and do the same again on the other side uh, once you've done that we're going to go underneath and do something to these stairs now on one side there's three sets of stairs you don't need to worry about the middle set but on the outside sets place a metal ceiling like so and then a sloped adobe wall a left sloped adobe wall sorry like so and then go to the other outside set of stairs metal ceiling sloped right adobe wall and then do that to the other set of stairs as well and you'll be left with this next sloped left greenhouse like so and then sloped right greenhouse like so and that creates a nice set of banisters that you can slide down okay? this is another technique we're going to do All right. so if I go to place an adobe wall now like that that green side that is showing is the nice side of the adobe wall the blue side is the bit that you can see the wood so it looks shit so what I'm doing now is I'm looking at it so it's green and then pressing triangle to flip it so it's looking outside don't do the edges you need to leave a gap at the ends there now we're going to do the same again but we're going to use the lower snap point now or the inner snap point to make it go blue and then once it's blue like that you press triangle and that will flip it out as well so then what this does is it gives us the nice side of the adobe wall on the outside and inside so it also makes it a lot thicker as well so make sure it's blue like so and then press triangle to flip it out like so and now all that we've done there we're using two snap points the two metal ceilings have got two snap points we're using both those snap points but flipping them the opposite ways so the nice side of the adobe wall is on both sides now do that to all four sections once you've done that we're now going to use some tech railings and because of the levels that we've done you're going to snap these to the stone ceilings right and you'll see that that tech railing has dropped into the adobe wall perfectly and it looks like an am amazing banister railing you've used two parts there just to make one railing do that all the way around on all of the sections where you've had to do those adobe walls and this is what you're left with basically now come to the section where we did the multi-level uh, thing and you're going to place a metal wall snapped to the top of the stone ceiling like so okay now you're going to place another metal wall but snapped underneath the lowest metal ceiling all right then it's going to allow you to offset greenhouse ceilings like so all right now you're going to place these greenhouse ceilings all the way around the outside all right so you go all the way around the outside when you come back do the same again but using the metal the lower metal ceiling offset it again you can offset it because you place that lower metal wall right there and you're going to place those metal ceilings all the way around as well that's now lined up the edge there so we've got both sections lined up now you're going to place some temporary ceilings these are temporary we're going to remove them after we're just placing them to allow us access to the two snap points at once after you remove them the wall stays up it doesn't fall down so off of the metal ceiling that's underneath the greenhouse place metal ceilings all the way around the outside you don't have to worry about the corners all the way around the outside all right and all we're going to do now is the same technique we did here with those adobe walls where we got the two snap points and reversed them we're doing that all the way around now so again you want it looking green press triangle to flip it outwards and that puts the adobe wall the nice sided adobe wall on the outside edge or the inside i guess depends where you're looking at it right and do that all the way around then you're going to do the same again but on the lower snap point so using the metal ceilings so you want it to go blue right I always you can use R1 there if you want to make it blue then when it's like that you press triangle and it flips it so the nice side is flipping out um, again R1 or just pull down to find the snap point you want it like that press triangle that's going to give you the nice adobe wall on both sides and you can do that all the way around basically once you've done that all the way around you can remove all the metal ceilings on the outside and the, the adobe wall that we snapped to it still stays up right come to the gap here where we built the multi layers and where the i guess the front is and you can place three triangle foundations there and, and then on the top snap point off of the greenhouse two metal and then one tech and then underneath that on the metal place three metal triangle ceilings like so a temporary ceiling here and here and we're going to do the reverse flip trick here like so and we're going to remove those after 
can you hear that? I hope you can't hear that. Anyway, yeah, two walls, flip them. Fuck me, I'm easily getting distracted there. And I've got a tip for you to save money because, you know, economy and, and all that stuff that's going on at the moment. People ain't got a, a lot of money, have they? So I've got a, a really good tip for you. This is like saving money at your home, you know what I mean? Only flush the toilet when it's full. Yeah, and that'll save you a fair amount of money, you know what I mean? People flush the toilet so you don't know how much that costs. It's like 7p per flush. You know what I mean? So only flush your toilet when it's full. Um, don't worry, I'm saving you money. Not only am I making you a better builder, I'm saving you money. I hope you've been keeping up. Right, so from here, we're going to place Adobe walls on the snap point of the stone ceiling. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck me. This is professionally unprofessional building video. Um, so you want this snap point here, and you're going to do this all the way around. And I know it looks a bit fucking stupid, but we fix that later. Now, off of the foundations, all the way around, adobe walls. Go crazy with it, nice and easy. Go all the way around. Once you've gone all the way around, metal walls, but you want them snapped to the lower adobe wall. Now, what I mean is, if I place that there, that you've got those two bits there, those metal bits that look shit, didn't they? They look rubbish. Right, that's snapping to the, the snap point above. You don't want that. You want to place this metal wall so it's snapping to the top of the lower adobe wall. And then you get it perfectly metal with no horrible bits, nice and flat, looks better when you paint it, looks smarter. Alright, so you want it looking like that, okay? Not with those ugly bits. And you're gonna go all the way around, alright? Once you've gone all the way around, you've got yourself a lovely strip, like strip club. Now you're gonna place foundations. Uh, stone foundation story off the metal foundations all the way around and this is just going to give it a nice base basically you know what i mean covers up all the metal that you've got there um you can paint that obviously you'll see the paint job that i do it looks fucking mustard if we're going to be honest do that all the way around next because of the all the different snap points and levels you're going to place a s greenhouse ceiling halfway in the wall there you can't see it from above which is great it's also going to hide that horrible lip that you've got going around there. We don't really want to see that, right? So you place greenhouse ceilings halfway through. Now you can do it all the way around if you want. So that strip there you've got will go all the way around. I prefer to do this triangle greenhouse uh, ceilings on the edges and you get yourself a nice little fucking groove there, don't you? Look at that. Right sharp that is, you know what I mean? This is how we're rolling. That's so sharp you can cut yourself on it. That was a fucking terrible joke. I I'll edit that bit out. Do that all the way around on all the sections. Now, Shazam, we've come to night time all of a sudden. Because I had, I had things to do. I came back, it was night time. Now we're going to build a nice sort of cabinet table. Alright? So, halfway in the wall, metal ceiling, like so. You can't see that from above, which is great. And it's half coming out. A temporary metal ceiling off of that one. That's only temporary. Now, underneath here... We want a double greenhouse frame door, alright? Now we want this to snap lower like so, but not there. That's snapping on the, the inside ceiling. You want to get it so it goes on the outside like so, so it's green, alright? That is snapping to this metal ceiling, but you can now remove it and it still stays up. Stone double doors on the inside there, and then adobe walls on the edges. You can use R1 to flip through the snap points there. And you've just created yourself a lovely little cabinet. You can open the door and place a small storage box in there to store stuff. Uh, but there you go, you've got yourself a nice little table or whatever. You know what I mean? Do it exactly as I did. Uh, the reason we do it like that, so we don't want that wood sticking through. So all these little flips that I'm doing and how I'm flipping stuff elsewhere is so it looks neat. Once you've built your second or third or fourth table, depends how many you want, remove the railings that are above the tables and place two temporary ceilings. You're snapping these to the stone ceilings on the other side. These are temporary. I'm going to do the same trick, uh, but with left and right adobe walls. You want it outside snap point so it's green. Then use triangle to flip it so it goes blue. And then you want inside snap point, that's the metal ceiling below. You want to get that so it's blue and then use triangle to flip it. And then place it. Do the same on the other side so you're going to give yourself a nice little point like so. Um, once you've placed those you can then remove those metal ceilings that we've just placed. It all stays up. You don't have to worry about that. Then Ado sorry, Adobe Greenhouse sloped left and right walls. You're going to place these but lower them so they snap to the Adobe wall below and that's going to give you a very thin strip of a of greenhouse going around that Adobe spike so that looks 
extremely neat you know what I mean it's all the details I'm gonna take over the building scene on Ark Man because I, I don't like a lot of the Ark builders if I'm gonna be honest they, they just build the same fucking thing and they don't create anything really they just tell they snap it where it snaps anyway come to the ends we're gonna build our enclosures now for the fridges storage boxes cryos etc obviously all of the vaults that are in the middle are for your weapons your armor your skins um, trophies all crap like that at the ends is where you're gonna have your fridges your cryos your, your ammo and shit like that so this is nice and simple so I don't need to run you through what I'm going what I'm doing right now um, get these metal ceilings along the top here. Fuck, man, I got a cramp in my leg. Oh, fuck. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm getting old. Yeah, just do as I'm doing. This is nice and simple. You don't really need me to explain this bit, do you? Um, after you've done that, though, come to the top and place metal stairs like that. Then on top of the metal stairs, you're going to place a sloped greenhouse roof. Uh, so it goes like that. Now this creates a cool roof. This looks like blinds, maybe, like great blinds. Looks much better than just a normal slope roof. Now, line yourself up straight. You can use a ladder technique or use your hot bar as a ruler and line it up with any straight line on a structure. Pull out a metal sign, place it in the wall so it's coming through the wall, but the legs of the sign are behind the wall. Then we're going to place some fridges. You can get four fridges underneath here perfectly start from the middle section and line them up as best as you can bring them forward a little bit so they're clearing the adobe wall that you can see at the back there um, and place obviously four along if you do what i done messed up a little bit here see at a certain point it won't place where you want so i need to move this fridge to the left a little bit if you're like me with ocd everything's got to be perfectly spread out evenly otherwise it drives me bonkers um, so if the first ones you place are a little bit off just adjust it until you get four fridges perfectly underneath the sign now behind the fridges on the walls that are there you're going to place two adobe double doors all right now you can't really see them all it's doing is filling in this little gap either side of the fridges otherwise if you left it there'd be a big gap there and it looks a bit stupid just make sure you're placing them the same either side then on these gaps you want greenhouse double doors inside snap points so you pull down or use R1 to say it's green then you place your doors uh, no you don't place your doors you place your cryos <laughs> fuck me uh, place some cryos in there all right on the other side you can get yourself a preserving bin as well to keep milk and shit like that I don't know just stick it in there you know what I mean get some doors on it now we place the doors you can choose what doors you want you want to go stone doors go greenhouse doors it's up to you it's preference really for this section a lot of the stuff I build has to be built in a certain way so that the materials match up structures match up overlaps and stuff but with that you can choose whatever doors you want um, come back inside here and inside place a omnidirectional light on the outside so if you do four words with a little line in between they line up perfectly with the fridges just for quick access so you know where you're going now we're going to come to the other side now for where we just was and we're going to do the same again we're going to place uh, some of these walls just normal um, oh, do you know what? I want to give a shout out to my patrons man I've only got a couple of patrons that these guys have been there for a while one of them specific has been there for ages um, I brought a new uh, editing video software Filmora or something um, and that was because of them for giving me some money from a patreon you don't get nothing as a bonus like my patreon yeah you've got one tier uh, and you get fuck all you don't get nothing from me absolutely nothing like you just pay me money that's all you do that's that's true commitment there you don't get videos early you don't get a very a special message from me you are just giving me money to make my life better when it comes to the YouTube all right so I appreciate that um, all right line yourself up nice and straight however you want we're gonna use our storage boxes you want it to overlap the ceiling just here a little bit all right and you want to get it as dead center as you can there obviously on the left hand side of the storage box is the center right so you want to make sure you've got that lined up and that will allow you to place them all the way to the edge without them overlapping all right always place your storage dedicated storage boxes the bottom row first because you can't snap underneath for some reason but now you're just going to basically fill in this entire gap uh, this entire space but yeah my patrons thank you um, 
it's appreciated. If anybody else wants to join my pre uh, my Patreon for absolutely no benefits, feel free. I'll probably put a description in. Forgot to put a light, an omnidirectional light in here, so I'm just going to remove one of those and place it in the middle. Make sure it's in the middle of the structure of the little building because you want it to, you know, be even with your lighting and shit. I'm parched. Give me a second while I just. It's drier than a squirrel's kneecap. Right, on the ends we're going to do some fancy shit. Snap temporary metal ceilings to the stone ceilings. We're going to do the flipping trick and we're just going to create a nice little sort of bibbidi bop. I don't know. It's art. That's what it is. It's art. I'm the Banksy of Ark, basically. There we go. Yeah. Once you've learnt this technique and you, and you can place it or whatever, you can build your own stuff, you know what I mean? With what I've showed you here, you could build this, but you don't even have to have it for inventory. If you want to change the inside of it and, and do hatching or sank, you can, you know what I mean? It's up to you. There's a lot of possibilities with these building skills. Remove the uh, temporary metal ceilings, and then you're going to snap greenhouse. Like so, same thing you did with the nice design bit behind the, uh, the, uh, the tables. Now we're going to build somewhere for you to live. So find the center of your build on the edge. This is the opposite side to where the way up is going to be, where you might have your ladder or where we're going to place a, a jump pad. And remove the adobe walls that you've got, two of them, or well, four of them. Place two stone ceilings. Then underneath, we're going to do some more foundation work. Um, triangle foundations, just place them as I do. I need to tell you that you've got to place eight or six like this. You know what I mean? It's just getting too much. It's a bit fucking boring making these videos, if I'm going to be honest. And I'm all right in small doses, but 30 minutes of me waffling on can be a bit annoying. Annoying. So anyway, build a dyslexic hexagon on the floor, and then copy the same shape of the dyslexic hexagon with triangle uh, ceilings, like so, metal ones, so they don't decay. And we're just going to do this all the way along. Obviously, this is for um, this is for a tech bed, so you can sleep. If you can't afford a tech bed, poor bastard can't afford a tech bed. Ah, oh, bless him. Uh, obviously, once you've built this, you can bring your 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 birds at your pool on your server. But like, yeah, come check out my gaff. I got I got like sit. Come and have a look at this place. You know what I mean? Like IRL, when you take a bird to your house and you've got a nice house, she's yours, isn't it? You know what I mean? She's gushing and all that. You take her back to your house. This is a shithole. It's, it's going to be hard work, you know what I mean? It's, you know, there might be a couple of no's involved. We don't listen to those words like, no, stop, please don't. They, they don't affect me, you know what I mean? They bounce right off me. I should be telling you what we're doing how to build, but I'm kind of going over the things that we've already done. Temporary ceilings, flipping the walls. This is a little bit where we're just going to have a chat. We're going to take a time out. Um, I've got a question for you. If you in the comment section, if you could ask Wildcard any question, what would that question be? You can ask him anything you want. You're not gonna get any points for coming up with the generic why are you so shit? So if I see any of those comments saying like the question that you ask Wildcard is why why are you so shit? We don't need to answer that. I, I want I wanna see some obscure answers to that question. If you could ask Wildcard a question and then answer it, what would that question be? Anyway, one second, I'm parched again. You see where I put that door? That's where you want to put a door. You need to put a door there, because at some point you need to go underneath the base and place a gen Jenny, you know what I mean? That forest Gump Jenny. You need to place some lights and shit. So we're just creating a little extension. And if you've been watching what I'm doing, I'm doing the exact same techniques that I've been doing everywhere else alright uh, floor foundations to match the stone foundations to hide the metal foundations that hold in this area up and go all the way around once you've done that we're going to do a little bit of a, a nice design on the top here uh, temporaries on the outside we're going to do a whole bunch of flipping with the adobe walls left side right side upside down in the world weird at the moment man like I've noticed like up is down and left is right like it's crazy like the, the the comments I see on videos on YouTube yeah it drives me nuts man like people are literally it's like they're living in a different reality they see the world differently and you, you try to tell them but that's not what's happened or that's not how it is 
you try to be nice as well and they just don't get it like I, I don't know if, if you come across any people like but there's more people out there that are fucking moaning like it's, it's madness I know there's a lot to moan at, at the moment but people are moaning for no reason it don't get you nowhere as well you know that don't you like because of the age of the internet and social media instead of us walking to like the houses of parliament and actually doing something everybody's just on their phone on social media complaining to the governments and the businesses it's not just the government it's anything the businesses uh, I don't know famous people or whatever they're just complaining on social media but that doesn't do nothing like literally it's given social media is given a platform for people to complain about stuff that they don't like like government and and the world or whatever without places like the government and the world having to actually do nothing because you are just one of many thousands of tweets or messages that they get that they don't even read like in the UK our government's doing some dumb fucking things like it makes no sense they're, they're not very smart if I'm gonna be honest with you like but who's who, whoever governments in every country are not really smart are they right but they're doing some stupid shit and it, it needs to change but the trouble is that everybody's complaining about it on social media and it's not doing anything like the governments and the companies are laughing their tits off like <laughs> look at this guy's complaining about a, a vaccine I, I'm not talking now we're not going to talk about any vaccines or anything like that but you know the general shit that's going on at the moment do you know what I mean and people ain't happy about it but getting on Twitter and and tagging companies or the governments complaining about it is not going to do a single fucking thing the companies are loving it because they've now created like a distance but at the same time it makes people feel like they can talk to the companies like it makes someone feel that they've got a voice because they can tag a company on Twitter and then complain to them not realizing that that's not doing nothing it's absolutely doing a fuck all to change whatever it is you want to change or that you're not happy with and everybody's doing it everybody's doing it I take an example like the Twitter account of Bungie, the people that make Destiny, they tweet out shit that pisses people off, right? Or they tweet out shit that's rubbish and stupid and makes no sense that pisses players off. And then you've got like thousands of people complaining about it in the feed for the thing that Bungie... And then Bungie don't even answer. They don't even answer. They just, they tell them, this is what's happening. This is how it's going. This is the problem. They tell them. And then thousands of people will reply to him saying, oh, come, this ain't right. And they're not even listening. <laughs> Whoever's running that Twitter account is at his desk. He's got his feet up and he's, he's watching Game of Thrones or something. I don't know. And he's watching, he's laughing at the people on Twitter complaining about all these companies. This build video has turned into a rant video. Um, I'm extremely sorry. It started off really good. We was doing really well. I was being all professional and shit, you know. I even done the thing with the materials to let you know what we're using and for the last 10 minutes I've just been ranting about not being happy and instead of me doing something about it like other people will jump on Twitter complaining about it but not actually fixing the problem I'm 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 venting on YouTube complaining to you guys who also can't do nothing about it we need to we need to riot we need to revolt I'm um, actually no I'm not I, I apologize YouTube please don't demonetize this video um, I don't. I'm not inciting violence or anything. Let's all be happy and friendly. Place three floor foundations on the edge of where the place is that you're meant to jump up. Place a jump pad in the middle of these two. We're only using these temporary to give us a bit of distance. Place another tech foundations on top of the jump pad. I remove the other two tech foundations that we don't need and on the outside of this you want to get the lower snap point of the foundation and you want to snap it down below like so on all the sides and then place a set of stairs on it obviously this should throw you up first time you just walk on it and push forward there you go bosh sorted and that's it done I know for the last part of that I started waffling um, maybe mute that section and just watch what I do in the video if it helps but that's the video done that's a build video, I hope you liked it. Now I was going to do a roof, but I like doing open top bases so people can see the design and stuff. If you put a roof, it hides it all. Uh, that's the first video. I will do one of these a month. If you liked it, headbutt the like button, 
backhand the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and uh, yeah peace out and put some links in the description for my Patreon also for my Nitrado I'm partnered use the link it helps me out much respect go fuck yourself <clears throat>